While Indiana ranks fifth in U.S. corn production, the state is home to more than just corn, soybeans, and wheat. In fact, just 25 miles from here is RDM, a shrimp farm that's been raising shrimp indoors for 12 years. Only the third privately owned aquaculture company of its kind, research here at Purdue, is also making a big splash. Step into this lab at Purdue University. We are able to produce two times of food in one area compared to the traditional aquaculture or the hydroponics. And you'll witness a future of food in the making. Now basically out there the aquaponics mainly in the fresh water. But we want to increase the choice or diversify the choice for aquaponics so that we started to do some saltwater aquaponics. Working in aquaponics for four and a half years, Yuting Chu is diving into the world of growing plants and seafood at the same time. So I haven't changed the water for a year and it, it is possible to keep, keep continuing to use the water. A sustainable approach to growing plants and shrimp as resources become more limited. The current food production is not enough to provide the food we needed in the future. And considering 70% of fresh water on Earth today goes toward agriculture use, including for aquaculture, she's testing aquaculture with salt water instead of fresh water. 97% of water on Earth is seawater. So using salt water into the food production is inevitable. So that's why uh, we have to start uh, the research to kind of evaluate the possibility of using salt water in food production system. Recirculating the same water is more sustainable, but the issue is the high nitrate concentration levels. While not toxic to animals, she says the high levels will impact aquatic animals. For hydroponics, they use um, the nutrient solution, which is expensive, especially nitrogen and the phosphate. But in aquaculture's west water, we have a lot of those things. So combine these two, we can help um, the farmers in aquaculture and hydroponic to find a solution for their, for their operation. As the shrimp generates nitrogen waste, that feeds the plant. As this research reveals the guidelines farmers can follow in the future. Transfer from their traditional aquaculture hydroponic into aquaponics to kind of make the, the operation more sustainable and also increase the food production for the future population. Feeding a growing population with fewer natural resources than what's available today. A large feat, but one that's taking root right here at Purdue. Well, RDM, the company that we mentioned earlier, has a goal of making Indiana the shrimp capital of the world. And with this research, Indiana may just be on its way to accomplishing just that. Well, that does it for U.S. Farm Report this weekend. Thank you so much to Bex for partnering with us and teaming up for the College Roadshow this year. We're off to the University of Nebraska next week, and we hope you tune in as we work to build on our tradition. Have a great weekend, everyone.